Gratitude, when it really gets real. Gratitude, being thankful is amazing. You gotta feel it and when you have a mutual feeling of gratitude for things that are, for instance, the opportunity to fix the biggest storm in the world, to be grateful for that opportunity to fix that mess, that's when it gets really real. Like Andrew, I stand in front of you today, still a giddy high school girl who's so effortlessly in love with you. I still feel the same butterflies whenever you walk into a room, but it is followed by a completely different feeling now. Feeling of calm, feeling of peace, a feeling that I have found my home. Isabel, I've been dreaming of this day since the moment I first saw you on that bus, singing at the top of your lungs without a care about the world around you. Since that day, there's been no question that you were the person I would choose over anyone in this world. see you in 30 minutes. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. I promise to stand by your side and support you today, tomorrow, and for the rest of our lives. I promise to never stop adventuring and building new memories, both small and large. I vow to listen and to hear you and to be your accomplice in life. I'll make you feel cherished and our marriage a priority. I promise to provide for you, to protect you and our family and our future. I promise to be the best father and husband humanly possible and to never stop loving you each and every day. Most importantly, I vow to never stop aspiring to be the man of your dreams. And when the day comes that God calls us home, I have no doubt that we will find each other again. And I know that when we do, you will be bringing joy to the world around you, just like you were the day that I met you. I love you. make the easiest decision I've ever had to make and I can't help but feel so lucky that we not only got to grow up together but now we get to grow old together. I love you more today than the last 2,233 days combined and somehow I know that I will love you even more tomorrow. I can't wait to continue this beautiful journey and life we have already built together but officially today as husband and wife. You are my best friend and my absolute favorite person in the entire world. I love you. Friends, it is right at four o'clock on May the 18th, 2024, and I have the privilege of being the first to pronounce to you Mr. and Mrs. Blake Pittman. Blake, you may kiss the bride. During the ceremony at 3.58, when you shared your first kiss as husband and wife, I've stopped the clock at the exact time. So anytime you guys are feeling worried, confused, reminiscing about the good times or anything in between, I want you to look back at this clock and remember exactly how you both felt at 3.58. Uh, 
uh, as I said before, happier to have Blake as part of our family. So I formally welcome you as part of our family. We look forward to really seeing the experiences. So I'd like to raise your glass and toast. What I wish for Blake and Isabel more than anything is a back pocket full of joyful experiences. That's what's most meaningful in life. Thank you. Now let's cheers to new beginnings, both family old and new, and to love that has brought us all together on this special day. Cheers to the couple. Yeah.